What is it that makes Haldor Topso's SOEC technology the ideal choice for electrifying the world's most carbon-intensive sectors? There are two standout capabilities. The first is its ability to perform high-temperature electrolysis, and the second is its smooth integration with a variety of industrial processes, both of which provide for dramatic improvement in the overall efficiency of the hydrogen production process. The electrolyzer consists of a stack, a core, which is an assembly of stacks, and a plant around it. The heart of the electrolyzer, the stack, is in fact 100% efficient. 100% efficiency means that all electricity and heat generated in the stack goes into producing hydrogen. If we consider the hydrogen output of two facilities, one using conventional alkaline electrolysis and the other using high temperature SOEC electrolysis, the high temperature operation uses up to 30% less electricity. And regardless of how you plan to use your green hydrogen, you can count on Haldor Topso to ensure that your SOEC solution integrates seamlessly with the rest of your fuel or chemical production operation. It allows you to substitute part of the electricity consumption with low-grade heat. And this typically offers you superior project economics. With knowledge and experience stretching all the way back to the 1950s, across every fuel and chemical production industry on Earth, we're a partner with the expertise needed to help you enter the sustainable future, no matter your business. We follow uh, our solution from production all the way to the customer and ensure safe startup and operation of the plant. We base our service on decades of research and practical experience. And this allows us to ensure safe and optimal operation. We see it as our task to take as much risk away from our customers as possible. And we do this via long-term service agreements where we help customers optimize their plants and on the electrolyzer aspect to take the technical risk and give them a certainty on their energy consumption and production costs.